I'm going to show you how the, the grid feature works in your structures for AutoCAD Plant 3D. So first things first is I'll probably create a, a DWG or drawing file, um, a structure drawing file, which will be separate to my piping and my equipment file. And then to set up my grid, I'll make sure that you select structure, tab, and then click on the grid. Now with the grid over here, first thing I'll do is get a given name, so my first grid. And then uh, we're going to see what values uh, we're going to do. So I want to say, for instance, I want on my X axis, I want uh, grid values at uh, 0, 4,000, and 10,000. Now, if for the naming of it, uh, you don't have to you know, delete that D because there's only three um, three values over here. Just select uh, this little arrow over here, and it will put in there um, A, B, and C. Same for my, my row value, select. Or if you had to actually add one, say so add 9,000 on my Y value, and you'll see it just put the, the number four. So it'll tell you that that's just the naming of, of each grid. Okay, I also only want three grids on my Z axis. There we go. So plus 4,000, plus, well, zero, plus 4,000, and plus 8,000. 8, now, the font size is going to be 500. And you'll actually see that the font looks at you when you when you place it. So it's normal to your view um, and how you've got your, your plane uh, orientated. Now the coordinate system over here. So the x the, the grids are going to be placed on zero comma zero comma zero. So if you are working on your WCS or your world coordinate system, it'll put on the world coordinate system over there. Uh, you can also put on your UCS. So if you're currently in a user coordinate system, it'll go put on your zero 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 of a user coordinate system, or you can specify three points as well. Now I'm just going to cancel this, and I'm going to move my UCS just to show you the difference between um, UCS and WCS. I'm going to go put it up over here, put a point on my, I'm just going to put my author on, put on my x-axis, a point on my y-axis over there. Okay, so you see over here, this is where my user coordinate system, my world coordinate system is sitting down somewhere over here. So let's just see that difference. I'm going to go back to my grid, and I'm going to say, right, UCS, create. You'll notice there, it puts it up on my, um, my user coordinate system. If I had to do the same thing, but now I say, right, you know what, a world coordinate system, so my 000 of a world coordinate system creates, it actually goes and puts it down a little bit lower. Okay, so you can see there, there's the difference between my two user coordinate system and my world coordinate system as well. To specify your, um, notice how the, the, uh, the, the numbers or the, the naming convention actually flips towards you, so you can actually see what what is happening over there. Now, if I had to do a UCS grid, select my grid, three points, select your origin, a point on your x-axis, and a point on your y-axis, and then your z-axis. Okay, click on create, and then it selects it over there. Okay, so from there, all you need to now do is select your member and start selecting the points on where you want your your beams to be or your structures to be. Thank you very much for watching.